Hey, what's going on guys? Donald, this is Molly Pie, and uh, today we're going to have a project which will be creating a outdoor patio sofa. And this is going to be for rookies. I'm a rookie myself, and I got some help, my boy Hassan over here. And uh, we're going to make a patio, outdoor patio sofa, and any videos that I see, a lot of them ask you to get these um, uh, pocket holes and special tools, and, and so I'll show you step by step everything that you need and it's for rookies literally if i can do it i'm sure you can do it stay tuned we'll see you soon uh, uh the wood that we got there was another video that we saw online and it asked you to get eight by fours now for rookies what does that mean okay so if you look at this wood right here there's a size right here and a size right here this one is six by six which means this is six this is six and then right here this one is two by eight which means that this is eight inch and then and this is two inches and then there will be another length which is usually in like eight feet or ten feet so all of these so this is six by six by eight which means six by six by eight foot this is two inches by eight inches so two by eight and eight foot long so I got two of these and I have three of of these that's all the wood I need but then uh, the video that I watched was very good but it asked me to get uh, uh, four by eights and they don't exist easily from Home Depot or Lowe's uh, or you got to go to special lumber stores so this is off the shelf something that you wouldn't have hard, hard time ask for pressure treated those are the that's the wood that will be used for outdoors so it's a lot uh, easier other than that yeah you know I'm gonna get started and uh, and then uh, time by time I'll stop and uh, teach you guys a little bit here and there but I'm really excited for this I got help so let's do this All right, so we're gonna cut our um, uh, two by eights together. So we have two pieces. We want four of these pieces, and three of them are gonna be used for where you sit, and one of them is gonna be for backrest. So four pieces, but we're gonna cut both of these together in one shot. Uh, it's eight foot, so I already got a four foot mark right here, and uh, we're basically gonna go cut it in half. What we're gonna have is, is like Hassan has it here. This is the uh, this is how high it's going to be. Uh, basically two this is about two foot and each of these pieces are going to be um, you know we're gonna put it together using these um, these bowls so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna drill a hole through it but only halfway right enough for this guy to go through so we only want to go halfway so Hassan has an idea that you know what why don't we just tape it so basically we're gonna just tape it halfway so we know that when we're drilling it, we don't go all the way down. We only want the hole to be just halfway, not all the way. So we're gonna tape it halfway. All right, so this is, uh, where's the drill? Okay, so what we wanna do is, is uh, on our drill, uh, we wanna connect basically, um, we're gonna, we want the drill to do the job, not manually, it might be a little bit hard. So this is gonna go in our hole, and of course, we want the drill to uh, take care of the, the, the whole thing. So here's another set that I recommend all the rookies to have. It's, um, what do you call these, <laughs> ratchets? Yeah. All right, so basically you have, uh, so I found that, uh, so it has different sizes that can fit here. So I know that this guy is gonna fit perfectly. But how do I fit this to my drill? So one of the things is you can just, con like see, this thing doesn't connect. I know this guy is gonna go in the drill. Uh, you know, I, I can put this on the drill, but this can't fit in. So now you have another adapter. So basically what we're gonna do is, is connect this guy to here. Then this guy goes into here. All right, so you can see we got the both of these in and it's very sturdy. It's not gonna move, so I've decided we're gonna return these things because these are like two dollars each, and I got like fifty dollars worth of these. So we just uh, going to only put two. So now the next one, we we don't want the hole to be right in the center because then it's gonna go through it. So we're gonna 
drill somewhere right here and that's going to go into this piece so what is even though is we bought a six by six it's not what is always half an inch smaller okay. so even though this is a six by six if you measure it it's 5.5 .5. Ooh, i didn't know that so even with the two by four if you measure it the thickness is always it's going to be 1.5 even though they say two by four or two by six now the width should be yeah it's not even eight not even eight right it's like seven so it's always weird is never exactly the size it advertises it all these four pieces are connected you can see there's a hole so now you'd be like well how do i cover this top hole well we won't we're gonna just flip it upside down so if we do it like that you can see there's no holes over here and this is pretty straight but we'll sand this down sand both sides down and we should be good So the brackets that we got are what we call the L-shaped bracket. So here are the brackets. And all we're gonna do is just screw them in. And we're gonna use um, these wood screws. So these are, uh, uh, you know, get them in bulk, you're gonna use them. And if you're gonna do more projects, it's best to get something like this in bulk. I think you get them for like 10, 20 bucks at the most. So once you're done with the side posts what you need to do is just flip them upside down and uh, uh, attach the brackets to the side and then drill the the planks the two by eights on those uh, uh, brackets and then flip it upside ag uh, again now you still need a back support so we attach the back support and then you're pretty much done but what i noticed was it looks good but it's still very wobbly very wobbly and uh, i know what the reason is because it doesn't have a proper support which i'll short share with you in a bit how to fix that uh, but i decided to take it all apart and then just uh, stain uh, the wood and then uh, next day uh, we're gonna make the support system so it's not wobbly anymore all right so as you can see when we finished the project and uh, it was kind of wobbly so the reason was because the 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 two sides are not really connected with each other uh so for that we need to make a support and uh it'll make more sense once we are uh completing the whole uh project but i'll show you what we're trying to do is, is uh we're gonna make a support so those legs right here and the ones right here i actually stained it and they're gonna connect through this frame right so this way will give it more sturdiness so we're just making these this whole frame right here and then on top of the frame we're gonna have this basically this is upside down and we on top of the frame we're gonna put our our seat now bring your final project to your destination the final destination where you're going to be having your couch because this thing is very very heavy so as you can see now we attach those two side posts by using the frame that we just created and then we attach our uh, four by eights on top of the frame. All right, so put the planks together, it's coming along. This is the back actually, so we still have to put a, a back over here, but let's show you that it's still a little wobbly, but not as bad. So I think that once we put that plank over here, the back, it should be much more sturdier. This is it, all right. Let's do a wobbly test. <laughs> because I got the, the back, it is, that's it, it's solid. Doesn't move. All I need is put some cushions on and then we're all ready to go, so. Good job, bro. High five. Bam. <laughs>